and welcome back to Mizan Active Kids, where, where we, we actively invest in your future. My name is Marisol Stolfberg and today I have a brand new friend for you guys. My name is Puku. Glad to be on the team. Glad to be and glad to see how active we Yay! get today. So today we're visiting St. Barnabas Primary School here in Ventuk and we are so excited because we get to play with grade 2 learners today. So Puku, I hope you are as excited as I am. I am so excited. I know they're filled up with energy. We are pumped up for today. <laughs> so we want to remind you guys you can catch us every single day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 9 on the MyZone and Zashi Facebook pages. And Puku, what's super cool is we also have our online lessons today. Oh, yes! yes. So it's lesson 5 today for week 2. So we get to have fun, mm -hmm. we get to play, mm -hmm. we get to see Zoe and Zaki, and we get to learn. Most important part! Yay! <laughs> so join us as we head straight into class. Bye! Bye. So today we're visiting St. Barnabas and I'm very excited because I have a beautiful group of kids here. Hi everyone! Hi! How are we? Hi! Are you sure you're fine? Yes! Are you really sure? Yes! Okay! So for those of you who don't know, my name is Marisol, this is my friend Puku and we are from my zone. Can we all say my zone together? My zone! Are you, what grade are you guys in? Grade two. But you're too smart to be in grade two. You should be grade seven. No. No. Just grade two. Oh, you're too smart to be grade two. Your teacher, your teacher's the best, ne? Mm, I thought so. I thought so. We need good teachers. So we are here for a show, and the show's name is called Active Kids. So do you guys know what active means? What's active? Who can tell me? What's active? Is it when we... <laughs> active is when we're jumping up and down and we're moving and we're doing funny things like this but we're also singing and having fun so today we thought we'd come say hi to you guys it's fine eh? is it fine okay so what we want to do is we want to sing a song who likes singing songs wow. yes i love it <laughs> okay so the song we're singing today is head shoulders knees and toes who knows the song who knows the song? Head, shoulders, knees and toes. No, you, you're too smart to be great too. <laughs> you're too smart. Okay, so now we're going to sing the song, but I need you guys to stand up on your feet. So everyone on our feet, on our feet, on our feet. Okay, 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 okay. I want to be in here Bye. with you guys too. What's important is, first we're doing the helicopter. We're doing it together. So let's put our hands out like this. We're not allowed to touch our friend, ne? so let's Ooh. move out. We can have someone standing here, just so we don't touch each other. Ne? Yes. Let's close this one. Oop. Yes, perfect. Okay, everyone, you're not, you're not touching anyone else. Ne? Okay, so who can show me where their head is? Where are your shoulders? Where are your knees? And where are your toes? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so first we're going to start the song, but we're not going to sing it too fast. So we can go faster and faster and faster. Is it fine? Yeah. Okay. Okay. One. One. But we need to stretch. Yeah. So let's stretch our arms like this. And the other arm like this. Oh. And now let's touch our toes quickly so we stretch. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're ready, ne? Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
Okay, but I think we can do it faster, eh? Okay. Faster, faster. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, but I think we can do it. We can do it faster. Can we do it faster? Yes. But we, what do we need to do? We need to stretch. Let's stretch first. And the other arm. Okay, let's touch our toes. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. One. with you guys we have a game it's called energy energy yes so we're gonna take our hands show me your hands because this week we are learning all about our bodies and this is our hands so we're taking our hands and we're rubbing it like this okay everyone rubbing now we bend over a bit and we put our hands here next to our knees and we say energy, energy. And then as we come up, we start saying it louder. Energy, 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 energy. energy. Okay, are you ready? Does that sound fine? Yeah. Okay, so let's get ready and then we're gonna go outside so we can quickly play our game, okay? Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna play a game with the dice. So I gave each of you a number. Someone was number one, someone was number two, Yes, your number five. Okay, so when I throw the dice... You're number one, Okay, no problem. When we throw the dice, né, every number is something else. So let's say it falls on number three. Who was number three? What did we do for number three? Yes, then we do butt kicks like this. Né? Let me take off my shoes as well. Okay, then when I'm going to throw the dice again, and then we're going to do something else. Okay? But let's all turn around, let's look at that side. Okay, I'm gonna shout the number, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, number five, what was number five? What was number five? High knees, ne? And let's do it for five seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next one. Uh, okay, what was number one? Jumping jacks, ne? Okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, next one is number three. Okay, what did we do for three? High kicks, ne? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What was number two? Bunny hops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Yay, what was number five? Butt kicks, ne? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. That's all our games for today. Let's look here and then we say bye everyone! Bye! 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 Bye!
had so much fun with the kids, but the fun doesn't end here because Bugo, we are very excited because next up it's Zoe and Zaki. Ooh! So get ready. Yay! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Guess what, friends? We are back brighter and better than ever before. And we can't wait to have, like, the coolest day ever with all of you. My name is Zaki, and my favorite thing to eat is vegetables. Hi, beautiful friends. My name is Zoe, and my favorite thing to eat is fruits. This week, we are learning all about our bodies, but the fun doesn't end there. Zoe, what are we learning about today? Today is all about eating healthy. Zoe, eating healthy is super duper duper important for our bodies. Our bodies is like a machine. Wait, like Robocop? No, not like Robocop. Like a machine. And every machine needs its fuel. But, but not just any fuel. Some machines um, um, need petrol and, and others need diesel. Exactly. Exactly. Your machine needs to get the right type of fuel so it can be the best it can be. And what type of fuel do we get? Our fuel is food, but the right type of fuel is food that is healthy. Does that mean we never get to have snacks and stuff? No, you can have a little snack now and then, but we need to find healthy snacks. Now with the right food, our body gets all the energy it needs to keep it for the whole Day. What type of food should we get, Zoe? We need to get fruits and vegetables into our tummies. They give us all the vitamins and stuff we need to stay healthy and strong. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We also need proteins like chicken, beef, um, and fish or even pork. But your body also needs milk or yogurt. That keeps our tummies working fine and helps our bones to grow big and strong. And we need fats like peanuts in our diet too. Zoe, what happens when we eat healthy? When we eat healthy, our body becomes big and strong. It helps us to think better, to not be tired, and do all the things we need to do every day. And if we give our bodies the right type of fuel, we can make magic happen. Yes, that is so true. I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song about eating healthy with our friends now. Get Ready, friends? And, and a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Yum, 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 eat and chew. Yum, 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 healthy meal. Yum, 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 eat and chew. Let's have a healthy meal. Yum, yum. yum. Don't be picky, no. Let's have a healthy meal. Don't be whiny, no, no. Let's have a tasty meal. Broccoli, tomatoes, onions, peppers, and black beans. Have a seat and eat well. Let's have a healthy meal. Okay. Uh, chomp, 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 chomp. Eat them all. Yay. Don't be picky. No, no, no. Let's have a healthy meal. Don't be whiny. No, no, no. Let's have a tasty meal. Green spinach, potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, and celeries. Eating healthy makes me strong. Let's have a tasty meal. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Eat and chew. Yum, yum, yum. What a healthy meal. Yum, yum, yum. Eat and chew. Let's have a healthy meal. Yum, yay. Zoe, I had so much fun today. Like the bestest ever. Zaki, do you know that broccoli contains more protein than steak? What? Really? That's like the coolest thing ever. But, 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 but mm -hmm, I think we mm -hmm. need to go now because we need to do our homework. It's so let's true. say bye, friends. Bye, bye. friends. Boop. Hi, everyone. So we are so excited because now it's time for our online school. Book, I hope you're ready. So ready. Because now we head over to pre-primary week two, lesson five. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. 
Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week has been myself <laughs> but before we get into the lesson it is very important for us to sanitize Remember, we put it on our hands and we say inside our hands, round and round our hands, in between our fingers and on our wrists. Well done! Now you are ready to start the lesson. Today's lesson is all about my body tracing and similarities. Our first fun activity is going to be on page 25. On page 25, we are going to be doing something super fun. The first thing we're going to do is to point out the body parts that we can see. And then we are going to color those body parts. And then after we are done, we are going to cut them out and make a puzzle with the body parts. Wow, that seems like so much fun. So let us first do the first activity. Now on the board, I have the same one that you do. And we are going to play a game where we are going to try and find the different body parts. Are you ready? Wonderful. Now I'm going to ask you, what body part can you see? Everybody, let's say, what body part can you see? Now remember, a body part is a part of our body. So I'm going to sing it and then I'll ask you to find it on the paper and on yourself. Are you ready? Very good. Let us go. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the eyes, eyes, eyes. Everyone, point to the eyes. Well done. Now point to your eyes. Good job. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the mouth, mouth, mouth. Everyone points to the mouth. Very good. And points to your mouth. Mm. 
What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the hands, hands, hands. Everyone, point to the hands. Now I want you to clap your hands. One, two, three. Good job. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the head, head, head. Everyone, point to the head. Now point to your head. Good job. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the legs, legs, legs. Everyone, point to the legs. Now point to your legs. Well done. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the feet, feet, feet. Everyone, point to the feet. Now, point to your feet. <laughs> Very good. What body part can you see? What body part can you see? What body part can you see? I can see the ear, ear, ear. Everybody, point to the ear. Now, point to your ear. Well done, everyone. Oh, you did so well. Good job. So we have done the first part. And now it is the second part where we are talking about coloring. So let's turn back to our exercise. On our exercise, it is asking us to color in the body parts. So I would like you to please take out your colors. These are my colors. Now, my colors are here in my hand and they are going to be used for the coloring. So, I'm going to color the body parts. Let's take a look at the board. Now, we know that we have different body parts and some of them have different colors. For example, our hands. The inside of our hands is different from the outside of our hands and we even have them. Now you can use any colors you'd like to color your body parts. And remember, when you are coloring, make sure that you are not rushing. <laughs> I would like you to take your time. Now I want to color his ear red. So I'm going to color and I want you to watch. I'm not rushing at all. I am just taking my time and coloring in one direction. There we go. And we have a beautiful red ear. Can you see the red ear? Wonderful. Now I'm going to try and color maybe his nose. His nose is going to be green. So I'm going to color his nose green. There we go. Remember when you're coloring, stay inside the lines, my dear children, and make sure that you are not scribbling. There we go. And now he has a green nose. 
So I will leave you to color yours by yourself. The next thing we are going to do is we need to cut our man in the picture. So you are going to take a pair of scissors and you're not going to use it. Instead, you are going to give it to someone to help you cut. And that person is either your mother, your father, or any adult or big person who is helping you today. Remember, if you are cutting, you first need to cut from the side. You follow the pair of scissors that is on your paper and you cut going up. And then you are going to cut in four pieces. First, you cut going across and then you are going to cut going down. Then you will have an exciting puzzle for you to do. Now, it is the same thing that we need to do on page 27. Let us go to page 27. On page 27, instead of a boy, this time we have a girl. And you are going to do the same. You are going to first point out all the body parts like what we did before and then you are going to color all the body parts. The last thing you will do is get help from an adult so that you can cut into four pieces to make your puzzle. Now this is going to take you a little bit of time so don't rush it all. We want a beautiful, beautiful puzzle. And remember, when you are done, make sure that you're able to put the pieces back together just like a real puzzle. I will see you after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. I hope you had fun with those body parts and remember a puzzle is something you can do over and over again. Now let us take a look at our next exercise on page 29. On page 29 we have Mr. Owl and Mr. Owl is greeting us. Everybody let us make a sound like an owl. <laughs> it is going to be our job to trace on the dotted lines to form a circle for Mr. Owl. But we don't just have one circle, we have uh, three circles. So let us take a look at the board so that you can see which are the circles we are going to trace. Now I have Mr. Owl here and we are going to first trace his outer circle. So, you can practice with your finger. Let's go. You're going to go round. Make sure you catch all the circles as you go round. And when you are done, you're going to start with the inside one and go round. <laughs> when you are done tracing, please make sure that it is neat and they come out as circles. Now, let us go to page 30. On page 30, we have a complete picture mission. It is our job to complete the two pictures that are missing something. Now, we are going to do the flower together. So, let's take a look at the board. On the board, I have two beautiful flowers. Here we can see that it has a circle in the middle, 
some two leaves and a beautiful stem with some petals. But on the other one, there is something missing. So, what am I supposed to do to make sure that this flower looks like this flower? Should I put petals? No, because both of the petals are there. Should I put a stem? No, because the stem is there for both of them. Should I put a circle in the middle? Yes, there is a circle missing. So I'm going to draw my circle. I'm going to go round and stop. And there is my circle. Now the two flowers look the same. And I want you to do the same in your booklet as well. Have fun, take your time, and I will see you after this very short advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our very fun lesson. And remember, boys and girls, when we are done with all of our activities, we need to sanitize. Now, I taught you a special song to sanitize with. Are you ready? Let's sing it together. Sanitize. Every day, so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day, so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job, everyone! My dear friends, though, I have not seen Zoshi today. Is he hiding from me? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Zashi. Hello. So, from Zashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. We are back and wow, Marisal, that was such an amazing show. But we're back at it because we are in week two, lesson five for grade one. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, 
hello, hello, grade ones, and welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my family. And before we start any lesson, boys and girls, it is very important for us to sanitize. Let us sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Well done! For our lesson today, we will be talking about odd and even numbers and coloring. Our first exercise, boys and girls, is going to be on page 28. On page 28, you can see that we have some beautiful things, but they are not organized. So we are going to organize them by picking the heavier ones and picking the lighter ones. Now, when we say heavy, we say that it is hard to carry or it feels heavy in our hands. And then when we say light, we mean that it is a object that is very easy to carry. So we are going to do number one and number two together. In this case, our number one is the books and the ladybug. Now it tells us that when we find the heavy one, we need to circle it. So which one is heavy? Is it the books or is it the ladybug? Yes, it is the books. So you are going to circle the books and you are going to cross out the ladybug. Let's do that right now. Well done. Now we're going to go to the second one. It shows us a bottle of glue and a caterpillar. So which one is heavy? Is it the bottle of glue or is it the tiny caterpillar? Well done! It is the bottle of glue. And because that is the heavier one, we are going to circle. Then for the caterpillar, we are going to cross it out. The rest, my dear children, you are going to do by yourselves. Let's now turn to the next page, page 29. On page 29, we are going to be doing odd and even numbers. We have some houses that we need to sort out and it is our job to circle the even numbers. We are also going to color them after we circle the even numbers. Now, as you can see, we have the even numbers on the window or on the door. I am going to show you how you can check whether or not it is an odd number or an even number. Now, on the board, I have my even numbers. And remember, grade ones, even numbers are numbers that have a zero or a two, or a four, or a six, or an eight. Now, those numbers are very important because if they appear at the end of a number, that's how we know that it is an even number. Let's take a look at our number line here. I am going to pick the number 12. Now the number 12 is an 
even number because it has a two and the two is here for our even numbers. So I can circle and color the number 12. Let's take a look at the number 15. Now the number 15 does not count as an even number because there is a 1 and a 5. And when we are talking about even numbers, we are looking for either a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or an 8. And there is nothing here at the 5. We look at the back number. So that means that 15 is an odd number and the odd numbers are 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9. Then we know that if we find numbers that have these ones at the back, that means they are Odd. For example, the number 17 is an odd number because it has the number 7 standing at the back. Now, our exercise is asking us to color in the even numbers. So we are looking for these numbers. I have a small example on my board and the window says which number children? It says yes, it says zero. And the door says which number children? Yes, it says seven. So which one is our even number? Is it the window which shows zero? Or is it the door which shows seven? Well done. It is the window because of the number zero, which is part of our even numbers. Now, I want you to please make sure you double check when you're doing this exercise. You can also get a little bit of help from an adult. Make sure that you know that you are going to color only the even numbers. If the door and the window have both even numbers, then you can color both even numbers. And if the door and the window don't have any even numbers, don't color them. Have fun. Take your time. Ask someone if you need to, and I will see you right after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Welcome back. Now it is time to do a little bit of coloring on page 30. On page 30, we have a beautiful picture that needs to be colored. You can see that there is a man and that there is a woman. There is also a snake. Uh-oh. We can also see that they are apples that are in a tree and also an animal or maybe two, including the birds. It is your job to color this picture and use the correct colors. I've never seen a pink tree before. So, please use the correct ones. I've also never seen a blue apple. <laughs> so, make sure you use the correct colors and color one way. 
This is in fact a story from the Bible and I'd like you to ask your parents or any adult that you have to read you the story. Remember when you're coloring grade ones, color inside the lines and also make sure that it is beautiful at the end. Have fun and I will see you after you have done your beautiful coloring. We'll be right back after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. I hope that you managed to finish your exercise and remember, grade ones, there's no harm in asking for a little bit of help. Now that we are done, it is time to sanitize. Remember, when we are sanitizing, we have our special song. So let us get ready to sing it. Are you ready? Very good. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Good job, everyone. But I wonder, I haven't seen our special friend who was supposed to come and say hi. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. Wow, Teacher Musa is really doing the best work today and I'm so excited because now Grade 2 is I hope you are ready because it's time for Week 2, Lesson 5 for Grade 2. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, 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 and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Ticha Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week has been My Family. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we must sanitize. Now remember, when we sanitize, we are showing everyone how responsible we are. And make sure that when you're done sanitizing, you make your hands dry before you touch anything else. <laughs> well done. 
Our lesson for today is all about addition and measurement. Our first exercise can be found on page 27. On page 27, we have some addition. And this one seems so much fun. We have flowers, we have hamburgers, we have bees and leaves and bears. <laughs> now, we have to add them up. And you are going to write the number that you can see in the boxes. After that, you are going to count them all together and put the answer in the box after the equals sign. Now, the equals sign was going to be your clue. But I know you are clever, so you are going to just count all of them. Count all the flowers to get your answer, but first you must count the first set of flowers and then the second set of flowers. When you are done with this exercise, which I know won't take you too much time, please can you turn to the next page on page 28. Now on page 28, we can see that we are going to be measuring. At the bottom, we have a small ruler. Can you see that ruler? Yes, the one with the numbers is a ruler. It is going to be your job to label the pencils starting from the shortest. Now, the ruler helps us to see what size or length is each pencil. If we were to do this together, let us see how far we can go. Let's take a look at the exercise in my hands. Now, the exercise is the same as the one in your booklet, but we're going to help each other to find out which one is the longer one. Now, we have first the long ones, we can see them. But we want to start with the shortest because that's what the instruction said. So let's take a look at these two because it looks like these two are the shorter ones. Now is it this one? Look at your ruler. Or is it this one? When you take a look at it, I think the first one that is the shortest is this one right here. So in this box, please can you write one? Very good. Now let's look for the one that's a little bit longer in length than the first one. Is it this one or is it this one? I think it is this pencil here. So you are now going to write in this box two. Let's now take a look at the other pencils. It looks like the next one is this one. Check with your ruler, go down and you can check whether it is the one. The rest of them, I want you to try by yourselves. Now remember my children, take your time. You don't have to rush and count out loud. You can even trace it from where it starts down to the ruler to check the length. I will see you just now after our very short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Our last exercise for the day can be found on page 29. On page 29, we are going to be comparing using what we can find as shorter and 
what we can see as longer. Look at the pictures that are on the side. We have two sandwiches, two pencils, two twigs, and two snakes. It is going to be our job to sort them out. We are first going to cut them out. Remember, when you're using a pair of scissors, please don't rush and take your time. If you're not sure that you are going to be careful with your pair of scissors, please ask an adult to help you cut them out. Once you are done cutting out, you are now going to sort them in their correct boxes. Now there's one side that is going to be for shorter, which means that it is smaller in length. And then on the other side, we have the word longer, which means that it is bigger in length. You're going to sort them out and when you do for each one, paste them neatly in the correct boxes. Remember grade twos, we need to be careful whenever we are holding a pair of scissors. Then when you are done with this exercise, I'd like you to please make sure you clean up. There is no pieces of paper and there is no glue anywhere. And once you are done with that, you will be done with the exercise. I will see you just now after our short advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. This now marks the end of our lesson. Now, before we say goodbye, it's very important, grade twos, for us to sanitize. Now, remember, when we are sanitizing, we are staying safe from coronavirus and showing everyone that we care. Well done. Has anybody seen Zashi today, though? Where is he? Oh, <laughs> there you are, Zashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. So much learning, but we're not done yet, guys. Now we do have another lesson, and it is week two, lesson five, for the one and only grade three. Yay! Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, hello.
Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutra and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week has been families and communities. But before we get into our lesson for today, it is very important for us to sanitize. <laughs> now remember, we sanitize so that we can stay safe and also show everyone around us that we are responsible boys and girls. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we are going to be talking about computation, decomposing, problem solving, and measurement. I hope you managed to finish all your exercises. And remember, it's okay to ask for help sometimes. For the next two exercises, we are going to take a look at page 29. Page 29 is something that I'd like you to do by yourselves. These are problem solving sums where you have to read the sentence and arrange the numbers so that you can get your correct answer. Now I've already given you a clue by saying that these are subtraction problem solving sums. So you need to make sure you get your answer by taking away. Look for the words few or left or less than, and you will be able to arrange your numbers. Remember, read each sentence three times before you answer and Make sure by trying to read it a third time after. So the first time you read it, then the second time you read it to get the numbers, and then the third time you read it so that you can check if your answer is correct. Let's now turn to page 30. On page 30, there is an exciting activity, which is measurement. Now you are going to use a ruler to measure the classroom objects that you can see. All the things there we can either find in a classroom or close to a classroom. And I want you to make sure that you start where the tip of the arrow is right down to the other tip of the arrow. In my classroom, I have all of these things and I will be doing this activity and I'm sure it'll be fun for you as it will be fun for me. Remember, you can have your friends help you, your family help you to measure all the items that you can see on the paper. And this marks the end of our lesson. We will be back after a very short commercial break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. I hope you enjoyed your last exercise and remember, practice, practice, practice. Practice measuring everything that you can. Also, when you measure, make sure that where you start is very clear and you mark where you end. This ends our lesson for today. Remember, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. Sanitizing means that we are responsible and we are staying safe from coronavirus. <laughs> I can see our little friend is here today. Hi, Sashi. <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way.
Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. I really just had the best day ever. Thank you for joining me. You made it so Always much fun. Always a pleasure. It was truly a learning day. Filled with action, filled with education, just the way we like it. Yes. But that unfortunately brings us to the end of today. We hope you guys stay safe this weekend. And remember to stay active. And our theme for today is eating healthy. So get yourself some fruits and vegetables and just do the most. But that's it from us for today. We'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye.